I'm going to be completely honest here. I don't think my floor planche has improved in the past year. So I think that if you were to compare myself from one year ago, my planche level would be the exact same. It kind of sucks to say, but I think this really is stating the obvious if you were to look and watch my YouTube videos. Um, like You can go into my channel, scroll back like a year before this, and you're going to see that my planche, it may have been even better a year ago. Um, but yeah, like... I feel like that's just the elephant in the room that I've never, I, I rarely, um, you know, mention. Mainly because I don't want to be overly pessimistic and the fact that I still am enjoying training. I still enjoy training the planche. But, um, yeah, like, it's getting, It's I think it's just getting into my head. Like, I really, really want to see progression in the full planche. I want to get the full planche. And um, I can make as many routine excuses as I want. I can say, like, my arms are not the perfect length. Like, all my leverages are against me. Uh, like, I've peaked in terms, like, my legs are just overpowering me. Like, I could say whatever I want. But in the end, I don't have the full planche. Like, any excuse is not going to help me progress more. Uh, maybe this is just me, like, going down into my negative phase, main, like, because I'm not seeing that much improvement. And also, since I am increasing weight, uh, I was originally at 63.5, and then I pushed up, and in this session, I was at 65.5 kilos. So I've definitely been getting uh, heavier, and my shoulder press has certainly gotten stronger. So like I wasn't I couldn't even do sixty two point five for three sets of eight last week, but today I managed to do sixty five for three sets of eight. So yes, my raw strength is is certainly improving, but again, that shoulder press strength, I was already like, I could already hit sixty five for three sets of eight like six months ago. I'm just like gaining back my strength after taking breaks after not being all that consistent with the program, but I'm putting a lot of effort and time into um, training. Yeah, like, sure, it's part of a routine. It's part of my lifestyle, right? And it's not, like, it doesn't really affect anything else all that much, but, like, I'm I'm investing a lot of time. I'm even doing all these dialogue videos, like, this diary videos, and, um, yeah, like, it it is very demotivating to just kind of like look back and realize like, wow, I've just documented a whole year of training without seeing a single bit of improvement. Even my squats, right? My squat PR has peaked at 135. And um, the most recent highest squat I've done is 130, which actually moved up pretty well but I just haven't um, tested my PR. But yeah, it's just like my weight has not increased in the past two years. My strength has not increased. So it seems like the only solution is I need to gain weight. And yes, my um, raw strength would improve, but like what happens to my calisthenic skills? Like my weight has not changed at all, but my calisthenic skills have not improved either. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a bit too much here. So uh, I want to hear about, um, like, you know, your thoughts. Like, I, w- I want to hear about everyone's uh, thoughts on, like, what my progression is like. And just, like, criticize what's going on here. Like, be very obvious as well. You can, don't, like, uh, beat around the bush. Like, just tell me up front. And kind of, like, uh, I need some suggestions and recommendations. But um, yeah, like... So this is this isn't gonna affect my training. It's just gonna like make me sad, <laughs> I think. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it, and I'll finish it off here.